Hey guys, welcome back to Read With Me, LG. I'm here with a fun one, Bugs I've Met Through the Alphabet. And this one, uh, some of you may remember, we've read Birds I've Met Through the Alphabet before. So this is the same combination of author and illustrator and it's Bugs I've Met Through the Alphabet. So we have the writer in this uh, for this book, the author is Amy Tejan. And the illustrator is Seth Fitz. So the artist who did the drawings is Seth. Okay. So we're going to jump right in. This one is extra special to me. In case you guys remember from the birds one, I do know Miss Amy Tejan, the author personally. And so this one has some fun extra messages and doodles for me from when I went to their book release. All right. And I do love a good dedication page, so we're going to read those. So Amy dedicated this book. This book is dedicated to Declan, Adelaide, and everyone else who takes the time to seek, find, and treasure the beauty in the little things. And then Mr. Seth Fitz wrote, For my favorite wife who has saved me on so many occasions from a big scary bug, for my friends who share entom <laughs> entomophobia, and which is fear of bugs. And for all my buggy friends, pretty and gross alike. All right. Andrew, th though aggressive, was a truly decent guy. Betsy was a looker with some extra special eyes. So there is Andrew and Betsy. Do you see the eyes on her wings? Eye patterns. It looks like she has lots of eyes. Chloe played her instrument without a single care. Declan traveled everywhere by water and by water, land, and air. So here is Chloe and Declan. And in case you guys hear anything in the background, I do have my little four legged dog helpers in the back today. <laughs> Aaron worked behind the scenes to beautify the yard. Fred preferred to be unseen. It wasn't really hard. So here's Aaron, an earthworm working in her yard, right? And then here is Fred and he likes to be unseen. It's pretty easy to tell why when you're that little, isn't it? <laughs> if I had to guess, Fred is a flea. Gustav, on the other hand, was way too big to hide. Hannah buzzed about her work, then she'd dive inside. <laughs> Oops, that's, I went in way too close, but there is Hannah the honeybee. Ian took the path before him one inch at a time. Jackson makes made folks angry when on flowers he would dine. So there is Ian. You're right there. Tiny little inchworm. And there is Jackson, the Japanese beetle who eats flowers. Katie swears she didn't do the things they claim she did. Lewis liked the nightlife and could master any jig. So here's Katie in court. And there's Lewis, the lightning bug. Michael was quite talented and did all kinds of jobs. Nicole always threw big parties, gathering the mobs. So there's Michael. And Nicole. And Nicole, her people are saying, what a great party. Or what a fun party. Opal could be beautiful, though sometimes she smelled rank. Meaning bad. Pedro started every morning with a bit of thanks. So there's Opal. There's Pedro. 
Pedro the Praying Mantis, and Opal was an owl fly. I haven't heard of that before. Quinn was dressed dazzling in gorgeous shades of green. Mm. Rebecca was a friendly one, though folks thought she looked mean. So here's Queen, Quinn, type of butterfly. And there is Rebecca the rhinoceros beetle. Sean blended in, but could stick out and never had to try. Thomas took what was not his and made the gardener cry. So there is Sean, and he is, see on these pages they have hidden what type of um, creature they are, but sometimes they're hard to see. Oh, there he is, stick bug, yeah, come on. Sean the stick bug, if you can see him because of his hat. Do you see his orange hat? That's right, right there. And then Thomas was a tomato eating worm, and he's called a tomato hornworm. Ulysses wings won him all the attention he could take. Virginia chose her husband based on houses he could make. So Ulysses is an underwing moth. And then Virginia is a velvet velvet mite. Mm -hmm. Walden tread upon the pond, content there on his own. He's a water skipper. Zena, Zena's family ate their dinner, then made it their home. She's a xylophagus, insect termite. Hmm. There's Walden. There's me. Home sweet home. Future home sweet home. Yusuf was a beachy guy. His neighbors were crustaceans. Zeddy knew a home could be a beautiful creation. So there's those two. And that's it. And this book is extra fun because in the back it has the real life pictures of all those animals. And it says, well, bugs that we just saw and it gives a little description of each one but we're not going to go through all this today i hope you guys enjoyed that thank you for joining me for bugs i've met through the alphabet see you next time for reading with me lg